Hi everybody, it's Miss Miner again with another at home STEAM lesson. So today's lesson, we are going to talk about chemical reactions. And to do that, we're gonna do a fun experiment called elephant toothpaste. So this is a very fun experiment, but it can also be very messy. So make sure you're doing it in a space that is easily able to be cleaned up. The first thing we need is yeast. We need dish soap. Any kind should do the trick. I have Dawn. Hydrogen peroxide. Uh, I have 3%. That's usually what's recommended, but you can do 6% if you'd like and see what the different reaction would be. We need a bottle or a glass or a jar to do our experiment in. A rec I recommend a tray of some sort to contain the mess as little bit as possible. A half of a cup measuring cup, a tablespoon, a small bowl and funnel, and if you don't have that, just a one cup measuring cup will do the trick. And we need warm water, and an optional step is food coloring. So you don't necessarily have to use this, but it does make it a little more fun. So let's get started. So first step, we need to get our extra bowl or measuring cup, and we'll need three tablespoons of warm water. So let me just get that over here. So the warm water is gonna help us activate our yeast. We don't want it to be too hot because that will end up killing our yeast. And if our yeast is dead, it's not gonna work as well. So take your one packet of yeast, open it up, maybe, and put it in your warm water. The whole pack. And we just want to stir it just a little bit for a few seconds just to get it all mixed in there. Okay. Next, we're going to take our half cup measuring cup and our measure out half a cup of hydrogen peroxide. So just half a cup of peroxide and we're going to pour that into our container. Okay. After that, we need our tablespoon again, and we're gonna get one tablespoon of our dish soap and pour that in our container as well. This is gonna give us that foamy reaction that we want. Now, at this point, if you want, you can add food coloring. I'm gonna add some more blue just because I think it'll make it look really nice, deep color blue. So you can add as much coloring as you like. The darker, if you want a darker color, add more. And if you want a lighter color, don't add as much. You can even mix colors if you want, but I just like the color blue. You know, I'm gonna swirl it around, make sure everything gets all nice and mixed. Now, the next step is we're going to take that yeast that we had waiting on the side and we're going to apply, put it in our container as well. Kind of quickly, make sure it all gets in there and you can start to see the reaction immediately. So it's starting to bubble, come up, and there it goes. So this is a chemical reaction. What we're seeing here is the result of the hydrogen peroxide breaking down into water and oxygen gas. Now the reason we use the yeast is the yeast acts as what's called a catalyst. A catalyst is what you add to a chemical to speed up the reaction. So there is something in yeast called catalase and when added to hydrogen peroxide, it speeds up the breakdown of the hydrogen peroxide, which is what makes our foam happen because the breakdown happens so quickly. All that oxygen that's being taken out of the peroxide is getting trapped inside the soap, forcing its way out of the bottle and into foam. So each little bubble in here is full of oxygen. Now, if you touch it, it should feel warm. Now, the reason it feels warm is what's called a exothermic reaction. Now exothermic reaction just means that it has produced heat. So our reaction not only produced 
foam, but we've also produced heat. It is safe to play with, so you can put it in your hands. Don't get it in your eyes or mouth because that would not taste very good, but you can play in it. It's safe, fully safe, and it's super easy to clean up because at this point it's just soap, water, and oxygen bubbles. <clears throat> That is our experiment for the day. So we talked about chemical reactions, how what catalysts do, uh, how catalysts help break down chemicals and speed up their reactions. <clears throat> so just a few things to think about in this lesson. How can we change our reaction? Could we add something to it, take something away? Would that change it? Would the size of the container that we put the chemicals in change mm -hmm. The reaction uh, would more yeast change the reaction would a different type of hydrogen peroxide make the reaction could we completely take out the yeast and still get the same reaction those are just some things that we can look at so if you want to do this experiment again and try different combinations of hydrogen peroxide and water and different things then you can do that as well I hope you enjoyed this lesson for today and I will see you all next week with another lesson